Hi, today's date is January 30th, 2019. For today's video source inspection, we are filming a fully refurbished ST240 spin rinser dryer that utilizes a 328 controller. Due to confidentiality reasons, I will not share my customer's name. I will share their internal purchase order number as well as a general location so they can identify this tool as their own. The customer is located in the state of Massachusetts and their PO number is 4201-8327-5. One more time, 4201-8327-5. Uh, today's recipe, we will have an 80 second rinse, 90 second dry one, and 220 second dry two. This is our customer's recipe. Uh, I'm going to describe our refurbishment process, our spare parts and service support, and list off some of the equipment that we can supply to customers around the world. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the door here. We have a four inch cassette. We've uh, doubled up on some uh, thicker wafers here as this is a 12 slot cassette. We have nitrogen purging into the bowl. We're ready to start. We're in our rinse. This will be at low RPMs for a dry one. We'll ramp up to high and come back down in speed for uh, our dry two to let our uh, heater cartridge and two heater do the majority of the work. I like to speak about our refurbishment process that every single SRD goes through once it's sent into SciTech. Every head sent to SciTech for a refurbishment goes through the same extensive process. First, we take the spin rinser dryer and we break it down all the way to the component level. Once the tool is completely broken down, that is where we uh, chemically clean and electropolish all metal parts as well as individually test every single part on the rinser dryer for function. Once all the parts are cleaned and prepped, that is when we begin building head assembly from the ground up. Once we complete the rebuild of the head assembly, the tool is installed into dry quality control testing. This is where we test the rinser dryer for full function minus facilities. Okay, rinser dryer is running nice and smooth. We're ramping up in speeds. We're now in dry one. This will be roughly a minute and a half and then we'll slow back down. Once the tool passes our dry quality control, that is when we move it into wet QC test. This is where we test the tool for full function with facilities installed. Once the tool has passed our, dry, our, excuse me, our wet quality control checkpoint, that's when we place it in the final configuration, which you see before you today. Some tools are sent in, uh, in the poly, sometimes customers send in a full double stack. This customer just sent us the head assembly, so there is no poly, uh, no cart, and uh, this is the final configuration. The last step and final test is running over 50 various process recipes at varying RPMs, so we can ensure the tool is ready for plug and play installation in our customers' fabs. Nice and smooth. We're getting heat, which you can see by our heater light. Uh, SRD is performing great. Our customer is going to be excited. So we have about 20 seconds left in our dry one. Uh, I'm going to discuss our spare parts and service support at SciTech. SciTech Process Solutions can provide 100% of the spare parts and repair services necessary to keep your spin rinser dryer up and running. Uh, components that we repair include rotor rebalances, motor rebuilds, controller repairs, as well as amp repairs. Uh, controller models include the 225, 325, 228, 328, PSC 101, and 102 controllers. Amps are the LC4 and LC5 amps. We can rebuild brush type or brushless type motors as well. In addition to repairing those components, we can also sell them. Uh, give us a call. Our phone number is 916-797-9000. We'll let you know what options we have 
uh, in stock that we can provide for you and your team. Other parts that we supply include windows, door seals, start-stop switches, ACR valves, heater cartridges, heater blankets, motors, rotor stop positioners, solenoid valves, ACR valves, anything you can think of on a spare or dryer, we can supply. We are the worldwide leader in spare parts and service support for spin, rinse, or dryers. So I'm going to double check the time here. Uh, we have about two and a half minutes left. Uh, if we uh, can get the camera over here, I kind of want to show off our build quality a little bit here. Um, right here will be good. So. Uh, we have a uh, color-coded wiring and uh, pneumatic tubing as well. Uh, every part that is, you know isn't a heater, we have uh, labeled our stickers here. Here you have our website www.sitetechprocess.com, phone number 916-797-9000, as well as our Sitech part number. So it's easy, just in case you do run into issues with your tools, that we can just get you apart as quickly as possible. You know exactly what you need on the head assembly due to our documentation. We're very thorough here at SciTech. Okay. Just about a minute and a half left in the cycle. We're getting heat. Um, door seals inflated. We're running nice and smooth. And we are at back at lower RPMs letting our heater elements do the work. Now I've discussed our spare parts and service for rinse or dryers as well as our refurbishment process. SciTech can do a lot more than sell just remanufactured SRDs in the upkeep. Other wafer fab equipment that we can provide includes box washers such as the HTC 8010, 8020, and 30, mask cleaners including K&S and Ultra T models, metrology tools including profilometers, ellipsometers, resistivity, and more. We provide barrel ashers and eschers, YES ovens, as well as a variety of microscopes. As you can see, SciTech is your one-stop shop for front-end fab equipment. Okay, we have about 30 seconds left. Uh, when the clock hits zero on the 328 controller, the cycle is not complete. Uh, this is older technology, the ST model, spin wrencher dryers. Uh, the controller, there is a delay. Once the cycle is complete, uh, it hits zero, there will be a delay before the rotor stop positioner fires uh, and this rotor is uprighted into the 12 o'clock position. And once we're uprighted, we need to make sure that the air is deflated out of the door seal before we open the door. Uh, if you open your door too soon and you force it, you're bound to cause damage to your spin wrench or dryer and you can be tooled down. Okay, I can feel us that we ramped down. We've actually come to a complete stop. There is a delay. Uh, I want to reiterate how you can contact us once again. Our website is www.scitechprocess.com. You can send us an RFQ there or email us direct. Our email address is sales at scitechprocess.com. Uh, if you're not sure what's wrong with your inter dryer and you need assistance troubleshooting over the phone, our sales department is full of experts. Our phone number is 916 -797 and if you're in the northern United States, dial extension 2205, and uh, that is uh, who will help you out. Her name is Rachel Reeder. All right, so our heaters are off. Door seal is still inflated. We're just waiting for the rotor stop positioner to fire, and uh, then we could open up the bowl. I heard it deflate. Let's pull out the cassette. We have warm air purging into the bowl. We have dry wafers. We also have residual droplets of water in the bowl. This is important. You do not want to dry to the point where you have a bone dry bowl as you are more prone to high particle accounts in that situation. So we have demonstrated full functionality of this ST240 spin wrencher dryer. Our customer in Massachusetts is going to be very happy. We thank you for watching today's video source inspection. We'll see you next time.